I have here a Apple TV 2021 model. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing is right out of the box, you get the Apple TV itself. You have the power, HDMI, and Ethernet. Okay, I'm not going to be using the Ethernet. I'm going to use my Wi-Fi. Also, in regards to the uh, HDMI, you do need to have your own HDMI cable. Okay, I'll put a link below if you need to get one from Amazon. Also, you have your power cable here, which you plug into here. You have a Apple TV pamphlet. You have the uh, new Apple TV remote. Also comes with the lightning charging cable, or you can go ahead and charge this. And of course, you can charge your iPhones and iPads as well with this lightning charging cable. So first thing is go ahead and plug in your HDMI cable. We're going to plug one end into the Apple TV itself. I want to go ahead next and go ahead and grab your power cable. Plug that into the power socket right there. Next thing is we're going to go ahead and plug the uh, power, plug this into the outlet to fire up the Apple TV. And then the other side of the HDMI cable, put that onto the uh, plug that into the back of your TV in the HDMI port. Now you know your Apple uh, TV is on when you see this little white light right here. Next thing is Turn your TV on and then you want to go ahead and select the correct, correct HDMI port wherever you plugged in the uh, Apple TV, okay? So mine is, uh, I think it's HDMI 1. Um, this is a TCL Roku TV, but a lot of you guys, if you want to get to the source for the uh, Choose Your HDMI, you can look on your remote and, and it may have, um, it may say source or input, okay? So mine is on HDMI 1. If you don't get anything when you go to your HDMI port, make sure that the HDMI is plugged in all the way into the Apple TV, which mine wasn't all the way in. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and pair our remote. And what we want to do is we want to press and hold the back button and, and the, uh, the volume up, okay? So back button, volume up. It says you can do menu or volume up, but that's for the uh, previous uh, Apple TV model where it said it has a menu button on here, but the newer one doesn't. So with the newer one here, is press and hold the back and the volume up. Ready, one, two, three, press and hold both buttons. You wanna kinda of point it at the Apple TV. All right, it says pairing your remote, bring it closer to your Apple TV. All right, there you go. Now go ahead and select your language. You move up or down. I'm gonna go ahead and choose English right here. Region, I'm in the U United States. I'm gonna click on OK. Data and privacy, go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, there's two things you can do, okay? You can, you can use your iPhone to set up like the Apple ID, your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi password, and so on. Or you can go ahead down here and set up manually. Then you have to, um, you know, find your Wi-Fi network, put in the password, uh, input your Apple ID, put in the password. But if you want to go ahead and skip all that, you can just go ahead and go to right here, set up with iPhone. Go ahead and click on that right there. So let me grab my iPhone here. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Oop, I get this right here. Set up new Apple TV. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on setup right there. Four digit code. I need to go ahead and input that into my phone right here. Five, two, one, eight, five, two, one, eight. Right there. Setting up your Apple TV. Require password. If you're making purchases, you can put on never require, require 15 minutes, or always require. For me, I'm going to do always require so my son doesn't start buying stuff. Setting up your iPhone. You can go to um, customize um, settings or you can just go to continue. I'm fine with just going with continue right here. Have a TV provider. Well, I don't. So I'm just going to go with not now. If you do get a TV provi provider later, you can always set that up as well after, okay? One home screen on every Apple TV. Okay, so it says keep your apps and home screen up to date on every Apple TV using this iCloud account. Okay, so if you have other Apple TVs and whatnot and you want all to have all the same apps and whatnot, you can go ahead and turn on. Or if you want to do a clean slate, you can do not now. Okay, for me, I'm going to go ahead and do a turn on. Where is this Apple TV located? Mine is actually in my bedroom here. I'm going to click on OK see the world for me you can download this or not as a screensaver for me i'm definitely going to go ahead and uh automatically download because these screensavers are absolutely awesome to look at app analytics it's up to you you can share with developers or you don't have to share for me i'm just going to go ahead and share with them doesn't really matter 
terms and condition, you, uh, conditions, you can go ahead and read through that. You will have to agree to proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and just agree right here. And voila, we are in business. And because I'm um, syncing all of my other Apple TVs, is already downloading my other apps that I have that's linked to my uh, Apple um, ID or, uh, or iCloud. Okay. So all that is downloading right now. And there you go. You're ready to rock and roll. And let's see if the remote here works to turn off the TV and everything. Just press and hold the power button. And it works. Good luck, guys.